Hey, what's up? It's your boy Divine Marley here, back with another video. You know, like, click, 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 like this video. Uh, like this video, comment, subscribe to my YouTube channel if you already haven't. I will uh, greatly appreciate that. Uh, so yeah, in today's video, we're gonna start with, we're gonna talk about, or I'm gonna talk about some words that start with letter A. And appreciate is actually one of them, uh, or appreciative. So accept, adapt, adjust, appreciate. I just want to remember this list without looking at it. Um, ooh, 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 ooh. Achieve, abundance, activate, an area. Uh, so those words are some of the words that originally stuck out with me. I'll start with the letter A. So when it comes to accept or acceptance, you know, uh, we are wherever we are at in our current life. Uh, we may seem like we're behind, we may seem like we're ahead. We may seem like we are in the right spot. I feel like in God's eyes, we're always in the right spot in life, uh, no matter the way we look at it, uh, you know, in a sense as a bad thing or a good thing. So. Just accept where you are in life. I feel like if you find the acceptance in the coming moment or in the present moment, it it does something to your spirit. It kind of like uplifts you, let you know that, you know what I'm saying, everything is okay, that you're on this divine path, you're on God's plan, and you're on a sacred clock, and the thread and the uh, spider web in this great cosmic well, it's all arranging and aligning, you know, to uh, you in a sense and to everything that ever happened in your life, in this lifetime, and that is going to happen. Uh, so just, you know, accept to the life that you accept the life that you have, adapt to it if you must. You know, as things are becoming overwhelming, adapt to your life. I would say adapt like water. You know, water takes the shape of anything that it uh, comes upon and is always transforming whether that's rain, uh, evaporation, condensation, or just flying down a river. Uh, one of my favorite quotes uh, that I have at my have at my desk at work is, water never f rushes, it just flows. So saying that like water just takes on the shape of its environment and it just is water. It's really nothing more, nothing less, but water is a force that can be like so strong uh, in life and can change, you know, over time and change us in a sense, you know, dehydration, overhydration, uh, too much water, you know, uh, can be a bad thing as well. So water just adapts and water also adjusts and you can be like water, you know, it adjusts to your environment, adjusts to your workplace, adjusts to family, friends, whatever the case may be for you. So yeah, those are, those are three that I usually say on a daily basis uh, for the most part and it stuck out more again to me as a refresher to accept, adapt, and adjust, you know. Mm. This says, excuse me, excuse me. I'm taking a, a sip of this tea, you know. This is tea. Mm. Things like blackberry, Thai tea. Ooh, you know what? I actually forgot to put honey in this tea, so I'll be right back. Give me one second. Okay, I'm back, I'm back, I'm back. I'm about to have a seat. Ooh, I just put some honey in this to sweeten it up because I'm not gonna cap. It did have a real uh, bitter taste. And, you know, I taste it. I was like, tea doesn't taste as good. I was like, missing something. I was like, honey, gotta get that honey. Honey is so sweet. It's so good for you and us. There you go. Mmm. That's a little bit better. That's a little bit better. Oh, that's a little bit better. So coming about or thinking about the word better, um, the next word that I have on my list is abund is abundance. You know, abundant love, joy, happiness, the richness in life, the things that we have. I said one quote. I don't know if I came up with it myself, but it was a quote that I was telling my coworker one day. I was like, for the man that has nothing is rich. And a man that thinks he has riches uh, is poor, innocent, or all the riches in the world is poor. So I was telling him, I was like, uh, you know, rich, 
being rich doesn't come with material things. I feel like rich is rich in happiness and spirit is more effective to your life and overall health than you just be than you just having money. Uh, I know some people say that quote, I'd rather cry in a mansion or a Lamborghini or something. I mean, that's cool to have that nice part, but uh, it always seems like true happiness and our power comes from within us. You know, our power, that may, uh, I'm saying we're driving in a nice car, have a make a nice house. It may bring certain energies in towards us, and that may not always be good energy in the sense of what people uh, may think it may be uh, in the sense. And you can always lose stuff like that in the, uh, in the instance. You know what I'm saying? A bad financial decision, your business goes down, downhill, or your spent your savings, or the case may be. And they kind of start back over from around zero or whatever that case may, or whatever the case may be. So I just feel like true abundance and true happiness and all that good stuff comes from within. You know, it's emotion. Emotions are meant to be felt. And I, I, I feel like that's really it, to be honest, uh, for the most part. So abundance. Next word is appreci appreciate. Why well, I just say appreciate? Um, Matter of fact, I would say take a quick second to find out something, to find something that you appreciate in life. For me, right now, I'm appreciating this tea, because I know it's going to do my body good, my body well. So, just think of something that you appreciate. And I would say, why do you appreciate that? What does it bring you? What does it bring you? It brings you that joy, that happiness, right? That abundance. <laughs> Maybe a person, place, thing. Hmm. I guess it has to be a thing, uh, in a sense. So, you, it, I guess it's a thing. I know it's a thing. Hmm. So I feel like that brings, you no, know, that thing, whatever that may be, your why, that thing brings you no know, joy into your life, into your spirit. It makes you look at the small things and the bigger things in life, and come up with this overall picture to, to, for you to view and to look at. The next word is activate. So activate, I didn't put these in any, any type of order really, but it's crazy because now I ask the question activate or we have the letter or the word activate. So what did that activate in you? You know, what did that activate in you? Um, yeah, so activate, activate, get going. You know, you're going to move, you're going to travel into these different areas in your life. Uh, you know what I'm saying? That's going to be a good, nice environment for you. I feel like you need to accept, adapt, and adjust to the environment because the environment is where you need to be at in life. No matter what you think and what you believe in, God already arranged it in the stars, written in the stars, that you are supposed to be here at this time because this is God's plan. This life that we live is not about us. It's not about us personally, our ego, our self. It's about the self of everybody else to come together as this unique oneness because um, we share everything. Life is all about energy, transform, transform, transforming, giving and receiving energy. Um, energy just travel from my right hand to my left hand, went through my body, whatever case it may be, energy coming from this tea, traveling through my body is going to give me the energy to think certain thoughts, to feel, to get my body going in a sense. So what does your energy activate in what areas and what does it achieve? Because achieve is the last word. What do you achieve? What are you achieving in your life? What do you want to achieve? What have you achieved? Mm. <laughs> yeah. That's what I was looking up. I just felt like energy will come now. Uh, but yeah, what have you achieved in life? That's your old self, your ancestor self, your ancient self. What do you want to achieve after your younger self, your future self? Ooh, a shirt looking all weird collar. So right now, we're at the very end of this video. Thank you so far if you made it this far in this video. You know, like, comment, subscribe. You are a real, a real one. You're a true one. And I really appreciate you for coming this far in this video. So, yeah, so let's see. I'm pulling a positive affirmation card like I always do in my videos for the most part. And let's see what car we put today. Hopefully this car aligns with this topic. So let's see. 
Let's see, let's see, let's see. Let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see. E, 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 e. I like this one. I feel I'm feeling this one. Let's see what this card says. Ooh, the law of attraction works in my favor. That's another A. Eh? Since I don't know if that's, that's clear, but the law of attraction works in my favor. So attraction. Law, the law of attraction is a powerful tool for manifestation. You attract more of what you focus on. So by making positive thoughts the center of attention in your life, you draw in opportunities to experience additional good fortune. Hey, that sums it up right there. Um, the law of attraction, you know, put your mind to it, act on it, put your best self forward. And those opportunities, when they come, seize the moment. You know, additional good fortunes will come to you. And even if it's a bad thing in the moment may come to you out of that, you know, it's still room for growth, still opportunity for you to learn. So that's a good thing. That's powerful. That's powerful. That's love. That's that's the area that we in right now. Mm. I feel like that button hits. Yeah. Mm. Take care, truly, and honestly take care of yourself, your mental health, your well-being, um, emotionally, financially, whatever the case may be. You know, sometimes I feel like we get tired of life, whatever, and do something that refreshes your soul, refreshes your spirit, refreshes your energy. Get the rest you need to, the work when you need to. Overall, life has its ups, its, its ups and its downs. And you know, for the most part, it's about just experiencing the ride. Um, Experiencing the ride and knowing what you can achieve and activate upon that ride. Accept, adapt, and adjust to the ride. And you know that ride is full of energy, experiences, and abundance. And room for growth. So, yes, appreciate that ride as well. Gratitude. Gratitude. So, yeah. Take care and best of luck to you on your journey. I hope you like this video and I hope. I hope they help you, you know. I hope they help you. So, peace. Deuces. Take care.